black apple stickers. Okay. Guys, you have no idea how excited I am to unbox this thing. I have ignored unboxing videos, review videos. You know how hard it is to wait for something for over a month and not even have it while almost everyone else has it? <sighs> It's finally here though. So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is David with Side of Tech, here with a super exciting unboxing setup video from my M1 Max MacBook Pro. And if all that sounds good, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I really wanna earn your subscription today. And feel free to follow me. I have a Twitter, TikTok, and an Instagram. Find those links down below. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and check it out. So first thing we gotta do is get rid of this box. Oh, I'm not gonna be that kid who dropped his iPhone 6 out in front of the Apple store. Wow, the box is super heavy. So it looks like we have a pull tab. There goes that plastic. Okay, so guys, before I unveil this thing, I really wanna go over the configuration that I got. So I have here basically a maxed out M1 Max MacBook Pro. This is the M1 Max chip with a 10 core CPU and I opted for the 32 core GPU. 64 gigs of RAM, that's mainly the culprit why I have to wait long for this thing because in order for you to get 64 gigs of RAM, you have to custom order it. I didn't really feel the need to upgrade the SSD storage. I have an external SSD workflow. In a way, I kind of do regret not bumping it up to at least a two terabyte SSD, but I think it's going to be plenty fine. Here we go. Guys, this is amazing. Look how big this thing is. You know what? It's not as heavy as I thought it would be, but actually, no, it's my bad. It, it is kind of heavy. It feels like I'm holding like a lunch tray, but a super heavy metal lunch tray. <laughs> I mean, I should save this for last, right? The best for last. All right, so we have the usual literature. I'm assuming because it's a Mac, it comes with stickers. Do you guys know? I'm crazy for my stickers. Black Apple stickers. Okay. I am way more excited than I need to be. We'll put these on something later. Holy crap. This is a big power brick. I used to have a power brick like this, like way back in 2013. Yeah, 140 watts. This thing provides a lot of juice. And we got the MagSafe cable. Looks like MagSafe. Oh, but you know what? This thing is threaded. Nice. So it should last a little bit longer than a usual MacBook cable. All right. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Decently long, not too bad. And it comes with the USB-C end to it. Okay, looks like that's basically it for the box. Now let's move on to the main event. All right, guys, here it is. A little bit of paper here. Wow, this thing is gorgeous. It's big, but it's like so solid too. I opted for the space gray one. I love space gray apple products space gray everything unless they make a black model okay i mean let's open it up right oh and it just automatically starts up all right so let's remove the paper grand unveiling try to get that in a whoa hello to you too the 120 hertz looks insane on this thing let me just enter my wi-fi stuff oh here it is this is the migraine assistant. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through this process. If you guys are migrating your stuff from another Mac onto the new laptop, you know, walk through this process with you guys. The selection is from a Mac. Yes, let's continue. Oh, it looks like I have to connect the power. So let's do that. All right guys, so power connected. So basically right now it's trying to connect onto the same Wi-Fi as my existing Mac mini. And it looks like on here, we need to bring up the migraine assistant also on your other Mac. So let's do that now. All right guys, so now we have Migrant Assistant up on my other Mac. So now we're gonna select transfer to another Mac. So it shows my Mac mini on there. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And then you'll get a code. Just make sure it matches your Mac 
That way everything goes nice and smooth. And yeah, so now we're transferring using the Migrant Assistance on the Mac. So on my Mac Mini, it's asking me what files to transfer. <laughs> so like every single thing, because I want everything to transfer and some agreements, stuff like that, signing your life away, you know, the usual. And all right, so we're starting the transfer now. Looks like I have a lot of items that need to be transferred, obviously. This process could take a while, so just make sure you have a dedicated night or a dedicated morning to this whole entire process. guys so now I've had about three or so days with the MacBook Pro and all I can say is oh my god it's amazing but please keep in mind this is my very very first impressions with this MacBook I really haven't had time to put it through its complete paces yet and a little backstory I myself am a Canon R5 user so any of you guys know cameras the Canon R5 uses a very hard to edit file type and this MacBook Pro handles it like a champ. And just to nerd out a little bit, I film in 4K high quality, which is basically 8K footage that is down sampled to 4K footage. So this makes it extremely hard to edit on a regular computer like an Intel Mac. But honestly, I can straight up take the footage from the camera and I can just dump it straight onto the MacBook and it just handles it like a champ. I also use a ton of plugins, layers, and stuff like that for all my videos. So it's really great to see that this computer can handle anything that I put through it. Oh man, that was so expensive when I first bought it. But now I really see why people are investing in these types of computers. Now, do I need all the maxed out specs that this computer can offer? Honestly, I really don't think so. But it's just one of those things where if I didn't get the most max out version, what would I be missing out on? I really do think that this is something that you guys should all consider when investing into something like this. Just see what you're willing to give up, but then also you really need to see what your needs are when purchasing this type of computer. And I really do think that is what we should all strive for. Alright guys, so I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video and go ahead and let me know are you going to go ahead and pick up the new MacBook Pros that Apple put out this year and I really hope that when you guys are looking into this that you will not regret your purchase and then you'll love your computer just like I do. And also guys, don't forget that I'm still running my giveaway for the $100 Amazon gift card. All you gotta do is go back to my previous video about the iPhone 13 accessories. You just have to like the video, comment what tech products you wanna pick up this holiday season, and finally, subscribe to the channel. You'll be able to enter the giveaway. Next Friday, which is December 24th, Christmas Eve, I'm gonna go ahead and drop another new video, and that video will have the winner announced so go ahead and stay tuned for that so make sure you're following me on all the social media platforms that i currently have i'll have everything linked down in the description below and with all that being said this is david wishing you a very happy holidays and i'll see you on the next video bye guys